<laughs> what a story, man. Hey everyone, welcome to the review. Here's my review for the movie The Disaster Artist. Yes, The Disaster Artist stars James Franco, Dave Franco, Seth Rogen, Josh Hutcherson, and Alison Brie. And this movie is directed by James Franco himself. And this movie is about Tommy Wiseau and Greg Sestero. This is movie is based off of the book written by Greg Sestero, The Disaster Artist, about the making of considerably one of the worst films of all time, The Room. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. Yes, um, big Room fan. <laughs> Not for the right reasons, but still, big fan. Uh, yes, this movie is about Greg Sestero. He meets Tommy Wiseau. They bond this friendship. And then he finds out Tommy Wiseau mysteriously has money. And they work together and make this movie called The Room, which was written and directed and produced all by Tommy Wiseau. James Franco plays Tommy Wiseau very suspiciously well. And yeah, they bond together and make this movie, this garbage-ass turd of a film. And you learn about the filmmaking process of Tommy Wiseau and stuff and him on set and just how just weird and bizarre and just clearly has no idea what he's doing and stuff and yeah it's about chasing your dream and stuff and it's also about a friendship between these two people Greg Sestero and Tommy Wiseau and yeah I was so freaking excited to see this movie because again I love the movie The Room. The Room is a garbage movie. It is such a dumb movie but it is one of those hilariously awful films that I love watching. It is just it's just great. Everyone knows The Room. Everyone quotes The Room. The Room is like a famous bad movie now. And yeah, I was excited for this movie because I loved that James Franco was directing it. And he looked amazing in the trailers and stuff. And I thought this movie, this movie looked like it could possibly be the Ed Wood of this generation and stuff. And yeah, this movie's, this movie's fantastic. This movie, she's going to say this right off the bat. The Disaster Artist is a hilarious, really amazing, very heartwarming, very kind of tragic film, and it is really accurate when it comes to some of the storytellings and the performances and stuff, and yeah, just got I gotta praise James Franco. Not only did he direct a very well-constructed film, a very funny and actually pretty deeply dramatic film, but he gives an amazing performance as Tommy Wiseau. Just ha 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 The mannerisms, the laugh, the look, just everything about James Franco's performance as Tommy Wiseau was brilliant. He is going to get nominated uh, for sure for Best Actor. He is so freaking good. Again, it's not just an impersonation of Tommy Wiseau. It is, it is just damn spooky. It felt like I was watching Tommy Wiseau in that goddamn movie, but it was James Franco and James Franco gave such a great performance as Tommy Wiseau. Dave Franco also gave a good performance, not an amazing performance. He didn't really feel like Greg Sestero because I know what Greg Sestero sounds like in his mannerism and stuff. Again, I, again, I read the audiobook, all narrated by Greg Sestero and stuff of the disaster artist and stuff. And Dave Franco isn't quite like Greg Sestero. He still gives a very good performance, but it's not quite Greg Sestero, but he does still give a good performance, and he has amazing chemistry with James Franco. And the scenes they have together are great scenes. Seth Rogen's really good. Josh Hutcherson's really good. Alison Brie. There's a shit ton of cameos that I will not spoil. They're all really good and really funny. This movie is consistently hilarious. And if you're a fan of The Room, you're going to adore this film. You're going to love seeing the filmmaking process of this complete weirdo that doesn't know what he's doing you're gonna find it so funny and stuff again they have all the classic room jokes and stuff and you're just gonna find it fascinating because it is a fascinating watch of how just this guy Tommy Wiseau he clearly has no idea what the fuck he is doing and stuff and he clearly has no idea how to make a proper movie and it's so entertaining to watch that and it's also sad, though, because he actually legit wants to make a good movie and stuff. And when people call his movie, like, a stupid movie, it actually hurts his feelings. Now he embraces the badness of the film. But when it first, like, came out, Tommy Wiseau did not want this movie to be a bad movie. He wanted it to be a genuinely good film. So it was kind of sad and kind of heart-wrenching heart to watch. And, yeah, they did it really well and stuff. And it was so good. I was 
thoroughly entertained by this film. I absolutely loved it. I love the performances. I laughed consistently from start to finish in this film. There's some really deep, dramatic scenes also in the film. Again, the cameos are hilarious. I loved the story, and I thought it was just a super well-made film. Really well-directed, really well-edited. Decently shot film. The screenplay was also really good. I thought this was an all-around, well-rounded film, and I absolutely loved it. And I highly recommend The Disaster Art, especially if you're a fan of The Room. You're going to fucking love this movie. Just love it. As for flaws, I only have a couple minor ones. The Dave Franco one is not much of a flaw. It's a minor gripe, because he isn't great to stare to me. Like, James Franco... That was Tommy Wiseau to me, but for Dave Franco, as much as he does give a good performance, I didn't feel like that was Greg Sestero. Also, the movie felt a little short to me. It's like an hour and 44 minutes. I felt this could have been like a two-hour film. Like, Ed Wood's like two hours, ten minutes, because they spare no expense, and they tell the whole story of Edward Dewey Jr. and Ply 9 from Outer Space and all that shit and stuff, and with Bela Lugosi. They just, they show you everything. All the negatives of Bela Lugosi, Bela Lugosi and everything, and his drug addiction and stuff. They go all out in Ed Wood. That's why I love Ed Wood so much. In this one, they do show uh, Tommy Wiseau as, like, a kind of a dick. Because when you read the book, The Disaster Artist, Tommy Wiseau was a nightmare on set. And he was quite an asshole also on set. And they do show that in this movie, but there's a few things they do not show in the film, which I kind of wish they did and stuff. It would have... Made it more interesting and fascinating stuff. Again, the book's long. You can't put everything in the book in the film. That's why it's a film adaptation. But there's a few things I did want from the book in this movie. And they didn't do it, but it's minor nitpicks. These are very minor gripes. They did not affect the film too much for me. I still think this is a fantastic film. No, it's not as good as Ed Wood, but Ed Wood's one of my favorite films of all time. This is still an incredible movie, one of the best films of the year. I really hope this movie gets nominated for multiple Academy Awards, especially for James Franco for directing and acting. Fuck, man. He did an amazing job. All the other actors are really great. This movie is so friggin' funny, and I think if you're a fan of The Room, you're going to adore this film, and I certainly did. Cannot wait to see this movie again. Cannot wait to buy this movie on Blu-ray. It is a fantastic film. Go check it out. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm gonna give the movie The Disaster Artist a 9.2 out of 10. Definitely check this one out. It is so freaking good. So yeah, that was my review for the movie The Disaster Artist. So yeah, in the comments section below, please tell me what is your favorite movie about movies, about filmmaking and stuff? What is your favorite movie about filmmaking? Because that's what this movie The Disaster Artist is about. It's about filmmaking. He's not doing it properly, but it's about filmmaking. And I always find that interesting. I love movies about filmmaking and stuff. And yeah. So yeah, what are your favorite movies about filmmaking? Mine will still always be Ed Wood, but what is your favorite? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.